Greetings everyone, Michael here. I wanted to speak with you today about reality and what the difference, if any, there is between reality and the imaginary world in which we live. So let's get started. Reality is what we can call physicality. The imaginary realm is what we call non-physicality or spirituality. So there's always a coinciding occurrence of both types of energies. Okay? So if you understand that, then you will understand quantum mechanics, in particular wave particle duality. You will understand the Tao, which is the yin and yang. You will understand pretty much anything that you set your mind to understanding. So know that you matter and that you coexist as a physical and non-physical entity. You are a an organic synthesizer processing information faster than the speed of light because thoughts form matter. Okay? So that's pretty much all I have to say about the overall concept. Now, how do you know when something is real and when something is imaginary? Well, how do you feel about it? When somebody says, oh, that's just in your mind, well, where else would it be? <laughs> so, so I laugh at that. I find that very humorous. Now, if you know how to know, then you will know what to do next. You will always know how you are currently feeling to a degree of absolute certainty when you pay attention to your present moment. That's it. So if, for example, you set your sights on, uh, let's say, getting a new job or a promotion or something at work, decide ahead of time that no matter what happens, it's meant to be. So if something is meant to be, it'll basically unfold before your very eyes. And when something unfolds before your very eyes, it will seem very magical. When something seems magical, it's because it's occurring in your imagination. Okay? Now, if all of what I'm saying makes sense to you, observe using all of your senses, your five basic senses, sight, sound, smell, taste, and touch, and your three non-physical or spiritual senses of space, motion, and time. And then just absorb everything. And if a particular sense is needed to process and convert the signal into its present sound, then what will happen is you'll convert that information into uh, from light into sound. All right. I love you guys. And I think that we're on to some really great things here. And everything is going to be perfectly fine because everything is exactly, excuse me, the way it's meant to be. Have a wonderful day. Enjoy whatever you're doing. Now, if you cannot enjoy it, at least appreciate and respect that it's part of the process. There's going to be things that you don't like. Last night, I got the hiccups, and I had a, a remnant hiccup just now. And it came out of the blue, and then it went away. Or no, first, it, 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 I started to have the hiccups. I went to sleep a little bit early watching TV. Uh, the Gaia station and then I woke up and it started to happen again the, the hiccuping so then I just decided you know what I'm done hiccuping so I stopped <laughs> until this morning when I just now hiccuped and that reminded me of my experience last night <laughs> anyway um, love all that's the message for today. You don't have to like everything. You don't have to 
uh, interact with people that are disrespectful. You don't really have to do much of anything except simply be. If you know that, then choose wisely. All right. Have the greatest day of your life starting right now.